Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit darker than normal. I usually film when it's uh, daylight, <laughs> but um, I just felt called to the table. So um, here we go. This is going to be a timeless love reading for you guys, a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. And I'm getting a message already. Okay. So your divine masculine has been thinking about you nonstop, okay? They're head over heels in love, very distracted by you. Um, they can't stop watching you, checking up on you, feeling pulled to you, wanting to know who you're with, what you're doing, what you're up to. And they're really, really missing you, okay? And I feel like this particular group of masculines are dealing with uh, a karmic partner and this karmic partner they are noticing this masculine's distraction and they're doing everything they can to lure this masculine back in and try to wrap them around their little finger and they are really ramping up their behavior right now they're trying to capture this masculine's attention but it's very disgraceful is what I'm hearing. Disgraceful and distasteful. Okay, those are the two words I was getting. This masculine is just no longer attracted to the types of things that this karmic is, is doing in order to capture this masculine's attention. It just doesn't do it for them anymore. Okay, there's no attraction, chemistry, or passion between these two anymore. It's completely fizzled out. Okay, and this is causing a lot of issues between these two. There's fighting. Um, there's just tension, like weird, awkward tension, you guys. And this masculine keeps pulling away, trying to create distance, wanting to sort of hermit. Okay, like the hermit energy like leave me alone or no I had a hard day at work I, I don't really feel like I don't really feel like doing that no um just sort of really pushing this person away not wanting physical intimacy of any kind with this person not only physical intimacy but like there's no connection there you guys like there's no this masculine doesn't enjoy this karmic's company they, they don't have anything in common there's nothing to talk about um, it's completely fizzled out here, okay? It's quite awkward and it's embarrassing. Um, and I just feel that this karmic is trying to influence this masculine, you know, get them back into like partying or doing whatever it was before that they were doing, right? But this masculine, they don't want to live that way anymore. They really have shifted and changed and they want like better things for their life. They want to like straighten up. You know, I'm seeing a masculine get into like a shirt and tie and like do the tie up nice and straight and stand up tall and be clean, be sober, you know, just be feeling good, looking good, energized, you know, working out, eating healthy, sleeping right, getting balanced, you know. I see a masculine who's in charge of their life. Like this is where your masculine wants to be. And so you represent all of these things. You represent, you know, stability and hard work and dedication and trust and honesty and ethics and morals and, you know, all of these beautiful things that your masculine is so attracted to okay um and again i just feel like this this karmic partner is so so desperate that they're trying to mimic the divine feminine's energy but the thing is is that you know energy can't be copied it can't be mimicked it, it comes from within right um so and this masculine they're picking up on this that the karmic is trying to be like divine feminine and it's really awkward. It's actually, it actually makes your masculine feel sick. Okay. Like sick to their stomach, a little bit repulsed and repelled. Um, and I know that might sound harsh, but that's what I'm feeling. I feel like I have heartburn <laughs> or something. And I don't like I was, I don't have heartburn. You guys, this is the energy. It's affecting my body this way. Um, and my stomach feels very unsettled. So your masculine is feeling sick to their stomach kind of repulse like oh and no no please don't touch me no I don't want to do that no I think I'm just going to go to bed tonight so there's a lot of avoidance 
avoidance and pushing this person away okay but the more that this per the, the divine masculine pushes this person away the more that they they turn it up you know they turn it up or they switch to another tactic oh so if i can't do this then i'm gonna cry right oh if crying doesn't work then i'll get mad then i'll pout then i'll threaten i'll threaten that i'll leave i'll threaten that i'll do this i'll threaten this masculine then i'll do that um, it's just like hopping around from one manipulation tactic to another and this masculine is just like it's not working it's like this masculine has reclaimed their power and this karmic knows it okay so this i can feel that this karmic partner knows that it's over that they that they've lost like this masculine has exited Physically, they're there, but in all other ways, they're not, okay? And this, excuse me, there's panic, there's fear, there's anxiety. I just put the deck on mimicry. See? Can't make it up. They are. They're trying to mimic you, Divine Feminine. Copy you. Copy your energy. Because they know that that's what the masculine is attracted to. But they can that's the thing. And then by them trying to be someone that they're not, it's just, it's a double whammy. You know, it's, it's, it's unattractive to this masculine in, in all ways. Because they know, they know that they're being fake. So not only are they trying to be something they're not, they're like, yeah, they're just totally being fake. influence see you guys i was bringing that through earlier um this karmic is really trying to influence this masculine there we have it influence trying to lure them back into a karmic cycle right like hey let's go out let's drink let's gamble let's party let's get dressed up let's spend lots of money let's go out on all of these expensive um evenings on the town let's purchase all of these things we don't need let's go away on a fancy vacation um you know all of this stuff and this masculine's like no i don't want to do that anymore i want to get my life together i want to straighten that tie get my shit together <laughs> i don't want to go out and drink i don't want to do that or whatever it is here right yeah and they're also realizing like this person is is not a good influence. This karmic is not someone they want around anymore because they're a bad influence and they know this. Nighttime, yeah. Let's go out in the evening. Nights on the town. And they're like, no, those days are over. I always regret my decisions in the morning when we do stuff like that. Self-interest. Yeah, so this masculine's realizing that this karmic is only with them because of what they can provide or because of how it looks like on social media or because of the income that they make or whatever it is. It's for self-serving selfish reasons that this karmic partner is with this masculine okay and this masculine can tell like this karmic partner is trying to lure them back into a, a, a negative karmic cycle that's not good for them and i think this masculine has told this karmic partner multiple times like i don't want to do that anymore i don't feel good when i do that that's not healthy. I don't want that. And instead of supporting this masculine and being like, okay, yeah, if that doesn't make you feel good, then don't, you know, I'm on board with you. Instead of doing that and being supportive, this, this karmic is like pouting, um, getting angry, stomping around. Um, I don't know, turning, like resorting to whatever type of manipulation they can think of in order to get what they want from the masculine it's about what they want well i want to go up well i want to drink well i want to party well i want to go on a boat well i want to go on a vacation and i want to take pictures and show everybody that we're in love and this masculine's disgusted 
they realize like this is this is no <laughs> this this has to stop i think this ends here okay so your masculine's realizing that you're a gift you're a gift and where they are and who they're with it's it's over it's over it's not gonna work anymore what do we have isolation yeah so i really feel that this masculine is just pulling away from this karmic they're leaving it's it's over it's done it's only a matter of time here you guys this masculine has been withdrawing and isolating from this person um just wanting to be alone and the karmic partner is feeling um a little bit like left out in the cold abandoned by this by this masculine okay but this masculine is doing this because it they're not getting along it doesn't feel right anymore they don't want the same things this masculine wants to get their life together they want to see positive change and they know that with this person in their life that's not going to happen and i really feel like your masculine just doesn't feel like this person understands them or gets them or even cares about them it's very surface level very superficial like i said before they have nothing in common nothing of interest um they probably met over you know a night of partying and they bonded over toxicity and at first it was fun but now it's hella boring it's hella exhausting it's hella draining and it's they're just over it you guys they're just over it and they're losing they're losing they're losing sleep money their energy yeah so they're done exposed mm -hmm. so this karmic has been exposed for who they really are for their self-interest or their self-serving ways and manipulation and this masculine is soaring off in another direction okay they're leaving I, I can see it happening you guys yep they're soaring off towards you divine feminine i split the deck on bond because this is what they want love love true love someone who's happy healthy honest, balanced, stable, loyal, committed, trustworthy, someone who can support them, lift them up, be a partner, be on their team, someone with a common goal, common interests, someone who they see eye to eye with, someone who they love conversing with and talking with, someone who is so freaking special, you know, this is who they want. Not someone who's self-serving and sabotaging this masculine's attempts at being healthy and happy, you know? So here they come, soaring in towards you, Divine Feminine. See? I'm hearing I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer. So anything else, Spirit, before we close out here? Risk. I feel with this, they know that if they stay where they are with this karmic partner, they stand to lose it all. They risk to lose everything, you know, everything. Their finances, their stability, their health. I'm even hearing like their morality, okay? They're, so this, this karmic partner could just have zero morals, zero values. And it's like this masculine realizes like, dang, like I'm guilty by association. Like I look bad being with this person now, you know? This may sound harsh, but I feel like this is a masculine who's really, really embarrassed to be seen with this person or 
yeah, to be with this person. Okay. Um, they just don't want to be around this karmic partner anymore. And I feel that this is a karmic partner who's been trying to get this masculine to do risky things. Take, I don't know, just do things that lead to disaster, basically. Okay. Unstable, bad decisions, foolish, risky behavior. So I don't know what that's about, but it's it's not good look trickery yeah okay so it's time for a talk that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing a masculine say to this karmic partner listen, it's time for a talk. And this karmic partner just instantly knows like, oh, that's the breakup talk. Okay. Again, I'm feeling like kind of sick to my stomach. And I feel like it's both coming from both your masculine and, and the karmic, but your masculine feels sick because they're, they're disgusted. Okay. Um, they're no longer aligned with this person at all, at all. And the karmic feels sick because they know this is the end of the road for them. It's the end of the road. Yeah, freedom. I just put the deck on freedom. So this masculine is freeing themselves, okay? Breaking up with this person, letting them go, going in a different direction. I'm hearing you're not for me. This isn't for me anymore. Okay, so I'm going to pull um, from my direct messages here. The dynamic that I'm I'm feeling and sensing here is is that of you know your masculine is an adult and this person just feels like a child, you know, just someone who is very stunted in their development and their growth. Like your masculine could be, I don't know, say 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, let's say that your masculine is 35, for example. This person, they have like the emotional intelligence of maybe like a 16-year-old, okay. Have you no faith in me? Interesting. This is interesting. I, I almost feel like this is coming from the karmic, you know, in, in, a, in an attempt to manipulate this masculine. Like, I'll change. I'll be different. I can be like divine feminine, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Or I can be good too, or I can I can be sober, or I can do this, or I can stop spending money, or I don't know. It's something like that. I can change. It's desperate. It's desperation, and your masculine can smell it. They can smell this desperation, and it's very unattractive. And they know it's also a bag of BS, right? I dream of you often, and in the morning, you're gone. You always were a witch. Okay, so your masculine's been drink. I almost said drinking. Maybe they have been and they're sick of it and they hit rock bottom and they're done. They want out. But I was going to say they've been dreaming of you. And when you're gone, there's such a, a hole. There's a hole when they wake up and you're not there. An emptiness. 
it hurts. It hurts so bad. I love you so much. It hurts my heart and my entire being. Yeah. Your absence torments me. Yeah, so right now, you're, all, all your masculine can think about is, is moving towards you. They're being pulled towards you. They're thinking about you non-stop, non-stop. I wonder what you do when you're by yourself, when you're at home alone. Yeah, and they want to be there. They want to come to you. They want to be where you are, you guys. And they're going to make that happen. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. That's from a Metallica song. So this is what your masculine wants, okay? Because where they are, it's it's depleting. It's draining. It's, it's exhausting. It's toxic. And it's risky, they're going to risk it all. Their health, wealth, stability, everything. Their spiritual health, all of it, by, by remaining in this connection. And they know it. They've really been going downhill since you and, and them have parted. Okay, Divine Feminine, since the last time you saw your masculine, they got some fuel from you. And then since then... In separation they've plummeted like really big time they crashed and they crashed hard okay and they're not able to come like back up and so that's why they're being pulled to you and as they're being pulled to you I see this karmic partner <laughs> um, just like grasping on and trying to pull them back in with all of these influences and manipulation tactics but it's not working anymore because your masculine is really like it makes them feel sick to even think about like drinking or smoking anymore. Like they're done. They're like, it, it makes me feel ill. I can't stand cigarette smoke. It's disgusting to me. Okay. Reunion is all I think about. See? That's <laughs> what I was just saying. Your masculine just wants to get to you. It's all they think about. It's all they want. Okay, you guys. So... This is what I have for you for this one. I hope to have brought you some clarity around what you're already feeling and sensing about your connection right now. And uh, I'm sending you all the good vibes and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.